not concerned about all of this being exactly in the right place because I'm sure all these different birds will have different wrinkles in different shapes and areas but I just want to get that general you know the general shape appearance of these little wrinkles the highlights that's what's going to really create the proper shape and form of it but I need to get these darks in first up like that This area is not blue, it's purple. It goes really dark around here. super dark around there that will actually be more black than anything That's making that stand out more. So darker around here as well. Blends out the top. I'll go purple. I may have to get a stump in there to, to blend that. In fact, I will. Let's have a look. Don't need a clean one, but oh. See, that just softens it, smooths it. It's lightening it a bit as well, just because it's taking some of the pastel off. Okay, that's fairly good. Some areas could do it being a bit darker blue than that, but let's see what we got. Not substantially, I see. That looks about right. That's a Prussian blue P350. Not easy to see the writing on these. Yeah, that's better. Put that in there before the highlights go on. See, it's darker down there. Let's 
let's have a look at a few more of these darks. Let's use our purple. Some of these are quite dark. I think a blue actually does work better. So you see, you know, it's still a... And then you try it and you think, nope. No, that is better in the darker ones anyway. It's all trial and error all the time. Judging areas against other areas. So I'm putting these in now because I want the highlights and we generally want the highlights to go on after. Don't forget, I can of course come back in, put some more darks on after I've done the highlights too. So let's see how these work. And see, it's quite light, bright out here. around under there highlights on top of the dark lines there bright there really bright there in fact Happy with that, that's okay. The colour works out well. And I'll eventually blend kind of into the um, white haze and fur up there, or oh, hay, feathers. <laughs> and that's around here, a couple of little marks there as well. Right. Okay, let's switch from that, have a look at some browns. So we've got dark on the outside as you can see. Oh that's quite a surprisingly light there. What pencil have I got for that? It actually looks something like this, doesn't it? And then, so I can come around where the brown goes from that into the middle. Use small circular motions, so it kind of blends it into the uh, pastel surface, pastel matte paper surface. And then it goes really rich here because the sunlight or the room light, whatever, is coming down through the top of the eye there and lighting up. You see what's on the opposite side. So that's around here. That's where we got it at its richest. 
a little bit up there. I'm going around the highlight for now. In the middle. Don't forget about the eyelashes. Go black. I'll come out a bit blend and see I'm using extremely light pressure then. very dark, although the eye part is, uh, around the eye is, the bit more of that light brown I think over here, I need to go lighter than that, same on the top. See, I can make it stand out even more than I'm seeing in the reference. Just to really make that definitely um, centre of interest. Let's put the highlight in. That's what brings the eye to life. It's kind of thin line. Not like that. So that's a bit more glossy and white than the reference. Do I like it or not? You know, because I can adjust it. But I want to cut into it a little bit, make it not quite so prominent. Actually like it's showing up quite a bit so I'm not gonna do too much with that. You know, I kind of like that more in my drawing than I'm maybe seeing on the reference photo. And that's okay. Let's just tidy this up a bit. There. great deal more than that. And as we know, as we come out here, it's going to be more of these whites. Just indicate now, I'll come back in and start on these feathers properly in a while. under there. Yeah, 
I'm going to come back in, I think, after I've done the rest of the drawing then, to re-look re at that area. There's no point doing it if I'm going to keep, you know, kind of smudging it and things when I'm working on the rest of the area. And that, on top of the nose, that needs to be more purple, as you can see. But that's, I think, another area then that I'll... Um, that's too a bit too light really. Oh, that's not bad. Good. I'm more darker there. I can use the black on this. Lots and lots of videos on my art channel and also my Patreon channel as well. Literally hundreds and hundreds of hours worth of videos on many, many subjects. Hope to see you there real soon.